Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to bring you a video more specifically on the Uberflex hose. Now from our last video, the accessories that you uh, should have when you're using a pressure washer just to make your life easy, I briefly talked about the Uberflex hose versus the traditional hose that you get for your pressure washer. So today the weather's good and I thought what I would do is just show you uh, about how well it unrolls, it doesn't kink up the way the other hoses do. So what I have is both of the hoses are rolled up here in front of me and I'm going to walk each of them out on video so that you can see a standard hose that's actually pretty decent. So the one that came with my Power Stroke gas pressure washer is only about a 30 foot hose. It is tougher but it's actually been pretty good to use and I've used it for the last few years. But when I got the electric washer and really started you know, doing a little bit of research, the Uberflex seemed to be one of those hoses I really needed to go with for a couple of reasons. The, the anti-kink, how it rolls up a lot nicer, the 50 foot length that allow me to, you know, run the length, run almost the length of my garage when I'm pressure washing it out, be able to get out and go around my vehicles when I'm washing them. Uh, now, little update since the must-have video, and sorry if you see me moving, uh, just years of doing tons of walking and I've beat up my knees, um, but uh, the little update was in the must-have accessories video, I think I mentioned I paid like 62 to $65 for the Uberflex. Well, there's been a big price increase in the last couple of weeks um, since we've shot that video and I just thought I'd let everybody know. Now, I, I haven't seen as much of a price fluctuation in the US, but here in Canada, now on Amazon, they're about $100 for 50 feet. It's really taking a massive jump. Now, I don't know if that's a supplier issue if it's a shipping and transport issue, it could be a combination of those items. Now this is a quarter inch hose rated at 3100 PSI or 214 bar and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's something I didn't talk about in the must have accessories video is this is meant for cold water, a little bit warm water, but not to be used with hot. If you're using your pressure washer with hot water uh, or have a hot water pressure washer, then Propulse that makes Uberflex has a hose rated for hot water. It's going to be more expensive, but you're going to want to get that hose so it doesn't break down. Now, for those of you that didn't see the must-have accessories, one thing that we did was, you notice I'm not twisting, so let's roll it back up. Let's do even another one. The anti-kink that I liked on the Uberflex, that when you pull it, I'm just pulling straight out, and you notice how it just seems to want to naturally unroll itself, which is nice, versus when you're doing more of a traditional hose, if I started pulling this, see that's why I said this one's not too bad, it naturally wants to do it, but if we do it another time, now we try to take these, you'll see it's much more resistant to straightening out. Um, but I got pretty lucky with this Power Stroke washer, it had some pretty decent accessories, a little better than I'm going to say what the standard was at the time and that's why I picked it up. So. No more talking, how about we do this? I am gonna grab our power flex hose, we're gonna take a walk, and I'm gonna drop the camera down more to uh, floor height so that you can actually get a better view of the actual hoses. We're gonna do this one at a time. So this is the power stroke hose, rated for 3100 PSI, 214 bars, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, same thing. And let's just pull it out. I'm holding it by the end. 
and you'll see this hose is actually pretty decent but as we get further out there's two areas right now if I pulled any harder it would kink the hose up and then it would leave that kink because of how um, rigid this hose is which could cause a water restriction so normally you know you'd be doing the old twist and it's not so bad when you're just holding this end but imagine with a spray wand and you're ratcheting it around now we're going to leave that there let's do the same test and i apologize if you're looking at my legs here but we're going to do the same thing i'm going to grab this here right at the same spot and i'm grabbing it here because you'll notice it does turn a bit which is the same on the power stroke hose and let's walk out the 50 feet and see what this hose does and I'm just gonna take it little by little because it was all rolled up naturally but you'll actually see even well we get a little bit of a kink if we let off a little bit and then just do a little bit of a twist because it was really rolled up there we go so it was rolled up pretty much I didn't pre-roll any of this I had been using it for the other video so is it fully anti-kink no they they do say that it's uh, kink resistant so you could have as you saw there there were some situations however that's over 50 feet of length versus 30. Um, and actually that's the first time just because I've done a couple of test wash that's the first time I've actually had it semi sort of kink up a little bit in a couple of spots I think maybe I was walking too quick but you know for the most part even when it's rolled up several times it tends now see right there the way it got twisted it's still having a bit of a resistance, but it's a lot less likely. Um, also more flexible when you're using it. Uh, now, I apologize, you're not seeing my head, so we'll, let's raise this up for a second. And I just thought I would do that little demo if you're thinking about the hose. I've only been able to use it about two times as the weather's just been nice and we had a little reprieve from several days of rain and i've been very happy with the uber flex again uber flex is not paying me or pro pulse is not paying me to do this this is a hose i went out purchased on my own based on my research and my needs and i've been very happy so far we'll probably do a follow-up video maybe at the end of the summer let you know after a whole season's worth of use how did it hold up how well did it operate and we'll go from there but I thought I'd do this supplement to the must-have accessories video for the hose itself I will be doing as the weather keeps getting nicer we're gonna do some snow cannon comparisons from a cheap $12 Amazon up to about $140 $150 snow cone uh, snow foam cannon that you know you may find helpful in detailing your vehicles Anyways, hope you uh, enjoyed the video, that it was helpful for you to help you make some decisions. Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe the video. It greatly helps support the channel with the, the bit of monetization that we have in being able to get some accessories and do some videos like this and some how-to videos for you guys. Tune back soon. We'll have more videos coming for you. Thanks again for watching. and. Make sure you're just living life to the fullest every day. All right, see you guys later. Take care.